Tragedy in Turlock, where the family of an 11 year old girl is reeling tonight after losing her to a hit and run driver. It happened on Sunday near Lander and Linwood Avenues. Police say the person behind the wheel was involved in another crash just moments before. Here's CBS 13's Ryan Hill. My heart goes out to the family, and you know, 11, wow, it's just so young. Parents in Turlock heartbroken over the loss of a little girl they never met. It hurts because I have four boys and I would hate for that to happen to us and them. Police say this man, Jose Yeva, hit a car carrying five people near Lander and Linwood Avenue Sunday night and took off. One of the passengers, an 11 year old girl who didn't make it. Yeva also accused of plowing down a motorcyclist not long before that and taking off from that scene too. And it's crazy how people drive. They don't have any uh, remorse at times. Like that accident. Remorse, something officers say Yeva never showed until the next day when he turned himself in. It's still unclear if drugs or alcohol played a role. But attorney Mark Reichel says even if Yeva was drunk at the time, turning himself in when he was sober won't make much of a difference. I mean, look, they're going to add a charge of leaving the scene of an accident. But if that person stayed behind and law enforcement got there and they determined that they were drunk and the, the drinking caused this accident that resulted in the death, I think they'd have been charged that night. So by fleeing, all they really did was, you know, postpone the inevitable. The inevitable charges that some say could have been prevented. It's very sad, and it's sad that we have people who speed through here and think that they can.